Alev begins each morning with training. Now, seeing how easily he overcomes kilometer after kilometer, it's difficult to imagine that he went through such hard times three years ago. Back then, the contract soldier was sent to Ilovaisk. Amidst heavy combat, shelling, ambushes, and shell shock, the 29-year-old soldier says that once a miracle saved him. By observing shell holes, he realized that the Russian-backed troops were adjusting their aim. To be honest, we got very lucky. I don't know by what miracle, but we made a turn slightly before the targeted zone. He says that sports help him disconnect from it all. He continued jogging even while serving on the front line. Now, Ale does not miss a single workout because in less than a month, he will take part in the 2017 Invictus Games, an international sport event for wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and veterans. On the Ukrainian national team, the soldier has found not only self-fulfillment, but also new friends. There may not be many of us on the team, but we are all good friends and we all communicate with each other, both psychologically and morally. Sports also help a lot. We have parted now, everyone trains at home, but we communicate on the phone and the internet. Ale's mother says her son has been interested in sports since his childhood. He and his friends used to arrange football competitions. She believes that in a month, Ale will return home from Canada with a gold medal. For starters, this is the first competition Ukraine participates in. Secondly, I'm proud of my son for taking part in the competition. This is the first time Ukraine takes part and he is in the national team. I still cannot comprehend how great it truly is. To serve in the army, Ale dropped out of the university when he was 21. Today, he is a cadet in the Faculty of Military Training of the Kharkiv Polytechnic Institute. He came to the exams straight from the war zone. He says that he knows about the war firsthand and can tell young studying soldiers things they won't find in textbooks.